أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله الذي أنزل على عبده الكتاب ولم يجعل له هدجا قيما لينذر بأسا شديدا من لدنه ويبشر المؤمنين ما الذين يعملون الصالحات أن لهم أجرا حسنا ما كثين فيه أبدا وين وينذر الذين قالوا اتخذ الله ولدا ما لهم به من علم ولا لآبائهم كبرت كلمة تخرج من أفواههم إن يقولون إلا كذبا فلعلك باخ نفسك على آثارهم إن إن لم يؤمنوا بهذا الحديث أسفا إنا جعلنا ما على الأرض زينة لها لنبلوهم أيهم أحسن عملا وإنا لجاهدون ما عليها صعيدا جرزا أم حسبت أن أصحاب الكحف والرقيم كانوا من آياتنا عجبا إذ أوى الفتية إلى الكهف فقالوا ربنا آتنا من لدنك رحمة وهيئ لنا من أمرنا رشدا فضربنا على آذانهم في الكهف سنين عددا ثم بعثناهم لنعلم لنعلم أي الحسبين أحصى لما لبثوا أمدا نحن نقص عليك ما بأهم بالحق إنهم فتية إلى إنهم فتية آمنوا بربهم وزدناهم هدى وربطنا على قلوبهم إذ قاموا فقالوا ربنا رب السماوات والأرض لن ندعو من دونه إلها لقد قلنا إذا شططا هؤلاء قوم اتخذوا من دونه إلى آلهة لولا يأتوب لولا يأتون عليهم بسلطان بين فمن أسلم ممن افترى على الله كذبا وإذ, وإذ اعتزلتموهم فن وإذ اعتزلتموهم وما يعبدون إلا الله فأو إلى الكهف وكهف ينشر لكم ربكم من رحمته ويهيئ لكم من أمركم مرفقا وترى الشمس إذا طلعت تزاور عن كهفهم ذات اليمين وإذا غربت تقردهم ذات الشمال وهم في فجوة من ذلك من آيات الله من يهد الله فهو المهتد ومن يدلل فلن تجد له وليا مرشدا وتحسبهم أيقادا وهم رقود ونقلبهم ذات اليمين وذات الشمال وقلبهم باسط ذراعيه بالوصيد لو اطلعت عليهم لوليت منهم فرارا ولملئت منهم رعبا وكذلك بعثناهم ليتساءلوا بينهم قال قائل منهم كم لبثتم قالوا لبثنا يوما أو بعد يوم قالوا ربكم أعلم بما لبثتم ف فبعثوا أحدكم بورقكم هذه إلى المدينة فلينظر أيها أزكى طعاما فليأتكم برزق منه وليتلتف ولا يشعرن بكم أحدا إنهم إن يزهروا عليكم يرجموكم أو يعيدوكم في ملتهم ولن تفلحوا إذا أبدا 
وكذلك عثرنا عليهم ليعلموا أن وعد وعد الله حق وأن الساعة لا ريب فيها إذ يتنازعون بينهم أمرهم فقالوا فقالوا بنوا عليهم بنيانا بنيانا ربهم أعلم بهم قال الذين غلبوا على أمرهم لنتخ لنتخذن عليهم مسجدا سيقولون ثلاثة ترابعهم قلبهم ويقولون خمسة سادسهم قلبهم رجما بالغيب ويقولون سبعة وثامنهم قلبهم قل ربي أعلم بعدتهم ما يعلمهم هم إلا قليل فلا تمال فيهم إلا مراء ظاهرا ولا تستفتي فيهم منهم أحدا ولا تقولن لشيء 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 إني فاعل ذلك غدا إلا أن يشاء الله وذكر ربك إذا نسيت وقل عسى أن يهديني ربي لأقرب من هذا رشدا ولبثوا في كهفهم ثلاثة مئة سنين وازدادوا تسعة قل الله أعلم بما لبثوا له غيب السماوات والأرض أبصر به وأسمع ما لهم من دونه من ولي ولا يشرك في حكمه أحدا واتل ما أوحي إليك من كتاب ربك لا مبدل لكلماته ولن تجد من دونه ملتحدا واصبر نفسك مع الذين يدعون ربك ربهم بالغضاة والعشي يريدون وجهه ولا تعد عيناك عنهم تريد زينة الحياة الدنيا ولا تتع من أغفلنا قلبه عن ذكري واتبع هواه وكان أمره فرطا وقل الحق من ربكم فمن شاء فليؤمن ومن شاء فليكفر إن أعطدنا للظالمين نارا أحات بهم صرادقها وإن يستغيثوا يغاثوا بما إن كلمه ليشوي الوجوه بأس الشراب وساءت مرتفقا إن الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات إن لا نبديع عج رما أحسن عملا أولئك لهم جنات عدن تجري من تحتهم الأنهار يحلون فيها من أسافر من ذهب ويلبسون ثيابا خضرا من سندس سندس وإستبراق متكئين فيها على الأرائك نعم الثواب وحسنة مرتفقا واضرب لهم مثل الرجلين جعلنا لأحدهما جنتين من أعناب وحففناهما بنخل وجعلنا بينهما زرعا كلتا الجنتين آتت أكو آتت أكلها ولم تظلم منه شيئا وفجرنا خلالهما نهرا وكان له ثمر فقال لصاحبه وهو يحاوره أنا أكثر منك مالا وأعز نفرا
ودخل جنته وهو ظالم لنفسه قال ما أظن أن تبي تبيد هذه أبدا وما أظن الصاعة قائمة ولا إذ إلى ربي لأجدن خيرا منها منقلدا قال له صاحبه وهو يحاوره أكفرت بالذي خلقك من تراب ثم من نطفة ثم سواك رجلا لكن هو الله ربي ولا أشرك بربي أحدا ولولا إذ دخلت جنتك قلت ما شاء الله لا قوة إلا بالله إن ترني أنا أقل منك مالا وولدا فعسى ربي أن يؤتيني خيرا من جنتك ويرسل عليها عصبانا من السماء فتصبح سعيدا زلقا أو يصبح ما أوحى غورا فلم تستطيع له طلبا وأحيط بثمره فأصبح يقلب كفيه قلا كفيه على ما أنفق فيها وهي خاوية على عرشها ويقول يا ليتني لم أشرك بربي أحدا ولم تكن له فئة ينصرونه ينصرونه من دون الله وما كان منتصرا هنالك الولاية لله الحق هو خير ثوابا وخير عقبا واضرب لهم مثل الحياة الدنيا كما إن أنزلناه من السماء فاختلط به نبات الأرض فأصبح حشيما تزروح الرياح وكان الله على كل شيء شيء مقتدرا المال والبنون زينة الحياة الدنيا والباقيات الصالحات خير عند ربك ثبابا وخير أملا ويوم نسير الجبال وطر الأرض بارزة وحشرناهم فلم نغادر منهم أحدا وأ وعرضوا على ربك صفا لقد جئتمونا كما خلقناكم أول مرة بل زعمتم أن بل زعمتم أن لن نجعل لكم موعدا ووضع الكتاب فترى المجرمين مجرمين مشفقين مما فيه ويقولون يا ويلتنا ما لهذا الكتاب لا يغادر صغيرة ولا كبيرة إلا أحصاها ووجدوا ما عملوا حادرا ولا يظلم ربك أحدا ربك أحدا وإذ قلنا للملائكة اسجدوا لآدم فسجدوا إلا إبليس كان من الجن ففسق, ففسق عن أمر ربه أف أفتتخذونه وزريته أولياء من دوني وهم أهلكهم وهم لكم عدو بأصل الظالمين بدلا ما, أشد ما أشهدتهم خلق السماوات والأرض ولا خلق أنفسهم وما كنت متخذ المدلين عددا 
وَيَوْمَ يَقُولُ نَادُوا شُرَكَائِي يَلَّذِينَ زَعَمْتُمْ فَدَعْهُمْ فَلَمْ يَسْتَجِيبُوا لَهُمْ وَجَعَلْنَا بَيْنَهُمْ مَوْبِقًا وَرَأَى الْمُجْرِمُونَ النَّارَ فَتَ فَزَنُّوا أَنَّهُمْ فَزَنُّوا أَنَّهُمْ مُوَاقِعُهَا وَلَمْ يَجِدُوا عَنْهَا مَصْرِفًا وَلَقَدْ صَرَّفْنَا فِي هَذَا الْقُرْآنِ لِلنَّاسِ مِنْ كُلِّ مَثَلٍ وَكَالَ وكان الإنسان أكثر شيء جدلا وما منع الناس أن يؤمنوا إذ جاءهم الهدى ويستغفروا ربكم إلا أن يأتيهم أن تأتيهم سنة الأولين أو يأتيهم العذاب قبلا وما نرسل المرسلين إلا مبشرين ومنذرين ويجادل الذين كفروا بالباطل ليدحدوا به الحق به الحق واتخذوا آياتي وما أنذروا هزوا ومن أظلم ممن ممن زك بآيات ربه فأعرض عنها ونسي ما قدمت يداه إنا جعلنا على قلوبهم أكنة أن يفقهوه وفي آذانهم وقرا وإن تدعهم إلى الهدى فلن يهتدوا إذ يهتدوا إذا أبدا وربك وربك الغفور ذو الرحمته ذو الرحمة لو يؤاخذهم بما كسبوا كسبوا لعجل لهم العذاب بل لهم موعد لن يجدوا من دونه موئلا وتلك القرعة أحلكناهم لما ظلموا وجعلنا لمهلكهم موعدا وإذ قال موسى لفتاه لا أبرح حتى أبلغ مجمع البحرين أو أمضي حقبا فلما بلغ مجمع بينهما نسيا حوتهما فاتخذ سبيله في البحر سربا فلما جاوزا قال لفتاه آتنا غضاءنا لقد لقينا من سفرنا هذا نصبا قال أرأيت إذ أوينا إلى الصخرة فإني نسيت الحوت وما أنسانيه إلا الشيطان أن أذكره واتخذ سبيله في البحر عجبا قال ذلك ما كنا نبغي فارتد على آثارهما قصصا فوجد عبدا من عبادنا آتيناه رحمة من عندنا وعلمناه من لدنا علما قال له موسى هل أتبعك على أن تعلمني مما علمت رشدا قال إنك لم قال إنك لن تستطيع معي صبرا 
وكيف تصبر على ما لم تحط به خبرا قال ستجدني إن شاء الله صابرا ولا أعصي لك أمرا قال فإن قال فإن اتبعتني فلا تسألني عن شيء حتى أحدث لك منه ذكرا فانطلق حتى إذا ركب في السفينة خرقها قال أخرقتها لتغرق أهلها لقد جئت شيئا إمرا قال ألم أقل إنك لم تستطيع معي صبرا قال لا تؤاخذني بما نسيت ولا ترحقني من أمري عصرا فانطلقا حتى إذا لقيا غلاما فقد فقتله قال أقتلت نفسا زكية بغير نفس لقد جئت شيئا نكرا قال ألم أقل لك إنك لن تستطيع معي صبرا قال إن سألتك عن شيء شيء بعدها فلا تصاحبني قد بلغت من من لدني عذرا فانطلقا حتى إذا آتي آتي أهل قرية استطعم أهلها فأبوا عن يدجفوهما فوجد فيها جدارا يريد أن ينقض فأقامه قال لو شئت لاتخذ تعليه أجرا قال هذا فراق بيني وبينك سأنبئك بتأويل ما لم تستطع عليه صبرا أما السفينة فكانت لمساكين يعلم يعملون في البحر فأردت أن أعيبها وكان وراءهم ملك يأخذ يأخذ كل سفينة غصبا وأما الغلام فكان أبواه مؤمنين فخشينا أن يرحقهما تغطي طغيانا وكفرا فأردنا أن يبدلهما ربهما خيرا منه زكاة وأقرب رحمة وأما الجدار فكان لغلامين يتيمين في المدينة وكان تحته كنزا كنز لهما وكان أبوهما صالحا فأراد ربك أن يبلغ أشدهما ويستخرج كنزهما رحمة من ربك وما فعلته عن أمر ذلك تأويل ما لم تستطع عليه صبرا ويسألونك عن ذي القرنين قل سأتلو عليكم منه ذكرا إن مك كنا له في الأرض وآتيناه من كل شيء سببا فأتبع سببا حتى إذا بلغ مغرب الشمس وجدها تغرب 
في عين هامئة ووجد عندها قوما قوما قلنا يا ذا القرنين إما أن تعذب وإما أن تتخذ فيهم حسنا قال أما من ظلم فسوف نعذب فسوف نعذبه ثم يرد إلى ربه فيعذبه عذابا نقرا وأما من آمن وعمل صالحا فله جزاء الحسن وسنقول له من أمرنا يسرا ثم أتبع سببا حتى إذا بلغ مطلع الشمس وجدها تطلع على قوم لم نجعل نجعل لهم من دون من دونها سترا كذلك وقد أحطنا بما لديه خبرا ثم أتبع سببا حتى إذا بلغ بين السدين وجد من دونهما قوما لا يكادون يفقهون قولا قالوا يا ذا القرنين إن يأجوج ومأجوج مفسدون في الأرض ف فهل نجعل لك خرجا على أن تج على بيننا وبينهم صدا قال ما مكني فيه ربي خير فأخ فأعينوني بقوة أجعل بينكم وبينهم ردما آتوني زبر الحديد حتى إذا ساوى بين, السد بين السدفين قال انفخوا حتى إذا جعله نارا قال آتوني أفرغ عليه قطرا وما استطاعوا فما استطاعوا طاعوا أن يظهروا وما استطاعوا له نقبا قال هذا رحمة من ربي فإذا جاء وعد ربي جعل جعله زدك دكاء وكان وعد ربي حقا وتركنا بعدهم يومئذ يموج في بعد ونفخ في الصور فجمعناهم جمعا وعرضنا جهنم يومئذ للكافرين عرضا الذين كانت أعينهم في غطاء عن ذكري وكانوا لا يستطيعون سمعا أفحصب الذين كفروا أن يتخذوا عبادي من دوني أولياء إنا أعطدنا جهنم للكافرين نزلا قل هل, نب... قل هل ننبئكم بالأخصرين أعمالا الذين ضل سع... سعيهم في الحياة الدنيا وهم يحسبهم أنهم يحسنون صنعا أولئك الذين كفروا بآيات ربهم ولقائه ولقائه فحبطت أعمالهم فلا نقيم لهم يوم القيامة وزنا ذلك جزاؤهم جهنم, جهنم بما كفروا واتخذوا آياتي ورسلي هزوا 
ان الذين امنوا وعملوا الصالحات كانت لهم جنات الفردوس نزلا خالدين فيها لا يبغون عنها حولا قل لو كان البحر مدا مرا مدادا للكلمات ربي لنفد البحر قبل ان تن فد كلمات ربي ولو جئنا بمثله مددا قل انما انا بشر مثلكم يوحى الي انما الهكم اله واحد فمن كان يرجو لقاء لقاء ربه فليعمل عملا صالحا ولا يشرك بعباده ربي احدا صدق الله العلي العظيم أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful All praise and thanks are Allah who has sent down to his slave the book and has not placed therein any crookedness He has made it straight to give warning to the disbelievers of a severe punishment from him and to give glad tidings to the believers in the oneness of Allah who do righteous deeds that they shall have a fair reward that is paradise they shall abide therein forever and to warn those who say Allah has begotten a son <clears throat> no knowledge have they of such a thing nor had their fathers mighty is the word that comes out of their mouths they utter nothing but a lie perhaps you would kill yourself in grief over their footsteps for their turning away from you because they believe not in this narration verily we have made that which is on earth as an adornment for it in order that we may test them as to which of them are best in deeds those who do good deeds in the most perfect manner that means to do them totally for allah's sake and in accordance with the legal ways of prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and verily we shall make all that is on it a bare dry soil <coughs> do you think that the people of the cave and the inscription the news or the names of the people of the cave were a wonder among our signs Remember when the young men fled for refuge from their disbelieving folk to the cave they said our lord bestow on us mercy from yourself and facilitate for us our affair in the right way therefore we covered up their sense of hearing causing them to go in deep sleep in the cave for a number of years then we raised them up from their sleep that we might test which of the two parties was best at calculating the time period that they had tarried <coughs> we narrate to you o muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam their story with truth truly they were young men who believed in the lord and we increased them in guidance and we made their hearts firm and strong with the light of faith in allah and bestowed upon them patience to bear the separation of their kith and kin and dwellings when they stood up and said our lord is the lord of the heavens and the earth never shall we call upon any illah other than him if we did we should indeed have uttered an enormity in this belief these our people have taken for worship aliha other gods than him 
why do they not bring for them a clear authority and who does more wrong than he who invents a lie against Allah? <coughs> the young men said to one another, and when you withdraw from them and that which they worship, accept Allah, then seek refuge in the cave. Your Lord will open a way for you from his mercy and will make easy for you your affair. That is, will give you what you will need of provision, dwelling. And you might have seen the sun when it rose, declining to the right from their cave, and when it set turning away from them to the left, while they lay in the midst of the cave. That is one of the ayat of Allah. He whom Allah guides, he is the rightly guided. But he whom he sends astray, for him you will find no wali to lead him to the right path. And you would have thought them awake, whereas they were asleep. And we turned them on their right and on their left sides, and their dog stretching forth his two four legs at the entrance of the cave or in the space near to the entrance of the cave. Had you looked at them, you would certainly have turned back from them in flight and would certainly have been filled with awe of them. Likewise, we, we awakened them from their long deep sleep that they might question one another. A speaker from among them said, How long have you stayed here? They said, We have stayed perhaps a day or part of a day. They said, Your Lord alone knows best how long you have stayed here. So send one of you with the silver coins of yours to the town and let him find out which is the good lawful food and bring some of them to you. And then let, and let him be careful and let no man know of you. For it, for if they come to know of you, they will stone you to death or abuse and harm you or turn you back to their religion. And in that case, you will never be successful. And thus, we made their case known to the people that they might know that the promise of Allah is true and that there can be no doubt about the hour. Remember when they... The people of the city disputed among themselves about their case. They said, construct a building over them. Their Lord knows best about them. Then those who won their point said, most probably the believers, we verily, we verily shall build a place of worship over them. Some say they were three, the dog being the fourth among them. And others say they were five, the dog being the sixth. Guessing at the unseen, yet others say they were seven, and the dog being the eighth, say, My Lord knows best their number, none knows them but a few. So debate not, except with the clear proof, and you and consult not any of them about the affair of the people of the cave. And never say of thing, I shall do such and such a thing tomorrow, except with the saying, If Allah wills. And remember your Lord when you forget and say it may be that my Lord guides me to a nearer way of truth than this. And they stayed in the cave, cave 300 solar years, adding 9 for lunar years. Say, Allah knows best how long they stayed. With him is the knowledge of the unseen of the heavens and the earth. How clearly he sees and hears everything. They have no wali, helper, disposer of affairs, protector other than him, and he makes none to share in his decision and his rule. And recite what has been revealed to you, O Muhammad Sallallahu of the book of your Lord. Recite it, understand and follow its teachings, and act on its orders and preach it to men. None can change his words, and none will you find as a refuge other than him. <coughs> And keep yourself, O Muhammad Sallallahu patiently with those who call on their Lord, your companions who remember their Lord with glorification, praising in prayers and other righteous deeds, morning and afternoon seeking His face. And let not your eyes overlook them, desiring the pomp and glitter of the life of the world, and obey not Him whose heart we have made heedless of our remembrance, who and who follows His own lusts 
and whose affair has been lost and say the truth is from your lord then whoever whosoever wills let him believe and whosoever wills let him disbelieve verily we have prepared for the zalimun a fire whose walls will be surrounded surrounding them and if they ask for help relief water they will be granted water like boiling oil that will scald their faces terrible is the drink and an evil murtafak dwelling resting place verily as for those who believed and did righteous deeds certainly we shall not make the reward of any one who does his righteous deeds in the most perfect manner to be lost these for them will be adan adan paradise everlasting gardens wherein rivers flow underneath them therein they will be adorned with bracelets of gold and they will wear green garments of fine and thick silk they will recline therein on the raised thrones how good is the reward and what an excellent murtafa dwelling resting place and put forward to them the example of two men to one of them we had given two gardens of grapes and we had surrounded both with date palms and had put between them green crops cultivated fields each of those two gardens brought forth its produce and failed not in the least therein and we caused a river to gush forth in the midst of them and he had property and he said to his companion in the course of mutual talk i am more than you in wealth and stronger in respect of man and he went into his garden while in a state of pride and disbelief unjust to himself he said i think not that this will ever perish and i think not the hour will ever come and if indeed i am brought back to my lord on the day of resurrection i surely shall find better than this when i return to him his companion said to him during the talk with him do you disbelieve in him who created you out of dust created your father adam then out of nutfa then fashioned you into a man but as for my part i believe that he is allah my lord and none shall i associate as partner with my lord it was better for you to say when you entered your garden that which allah wills will come to pass there is no power but with allah if you see me less than you in wealth and children it may be that my lord will give me something better than your garden and will send on it husban torment bolt from the sky then it will be as a barren slippery earth or the water thereof of the gardens becomes deep sunken underground so that you will never be able to seek it so his fruits were encircled with ruin and he reclaimed he and he remained clapping his hands with sorrow over what he had spent upon it while it was all destroyed on its trellises and he could only say would that i had ascribed no partners to my lord and he had no group of men to help him against allah nor could he defend himself there on the day of resurrection al walaya will be of for allah alone the true god he is the best for reward and the best for the final end and put forward to them the example of the life of this world it is like the water which we send down from the sky and the vegetation of the earth mingles with it but later it becomes dry and broken pieces which the wind scatter and allah is able to do everything wealth and children are the adornment of the life of this world but the good righteous deeds that last are better with your lord for rewards and better in respect of hope and remember the day we shall cause the mountains to pass away like clouds of dust and you will see the earth as a leveled plain and we shall gather them all together so as to leave not one of them behind and they will be set before your lord in lines <coughs> and they will be set before your lord in rows now indeed 
you have come to us as we created you the first time nay but you thought that we had appointed on meeting for you and the book will be placed will be placed in the right hand of the believer in the oneness of allah and in the left hand for the disbeliever in the oneness of allah and you will see the mujrimun uh, fearful of that which is recorded therein they will say woe to us what sort of book is this that leaves neither a small thing nor a big thing but has recorded it with numbers and they will find all that is that, that they did placed before them and your lord treats no one with injustice and remember when we said to the angels prostrate yourself to adam so they prostrated themselves except iblis he was one of the jinn he disobeyed the command of his lord will you then take him as and his offspring as protectors and helpers rather than me while they are enemies to you what an evil is the exchange for the zalimun i made them not to witness the creation of the heavens and the earth and not their own creation nor was i to take the misleaders as helpers and remember the day he will say call those so called partners of mine whom you pretended then they will cry to them but they will not answer them and we shall put maubik a barrier between them and the mujrimun shall see the fire and apprehend that they have to fall therein and they will find no way of ex- escape from there and indeed we have put forth every kind of example in this quran for mankind but man is ever more quarrelsome than anything and nothing prevents man from believing when the guidance has come to them and from asking forgiveness for of their lord except that the face of the ancients be repeated with them or the torment be brought to them face to face and we shall and we send not the messengers except as givers of glad tidings and warners but those who disbelieve dispute with false argument in order to refute the truth thereby and they treat my ayat and that which we and that with which they are wont as a jest and mockery and who does not and who does more wrong than he who is reminded of the ayat of his lord but turns away from them forgetting what deeds his hands have set him sent forth truly we have set wheels over their hearts lest they should understand this and in their ears deafness and if you call them to guidance even then they will never be guided and your lord is most forgiving owner of mercy were he to call them to account for what they have earned then surely he would have hasten their punishment but they have their appointed time beyond which they will find no escape and these towns we have dis- we destroyed them when they did wrong and we appointed a fixed time for their destruction and remember when musa said to his boy servant i will not give up traveling until i reach the junction of the two seas or until i spend years and years in traveling but when they reached the injunction of the two seas they forgot their fish and it took its way through the sea as in a tunnel so when they had passed further on musa said to his boy servant bring us our morning meal truly we have suffered much fatigue in this our journey he said do you remember when we betook ourselves to the rock i indeed forgot the fish none but shaitan made me forget to remember it it took its course into the sea in a strange way musa said that is what that is what we have been seeking so they went back retracing their footsteps then they found one of our slaves on whom we have bestowed mercy from us and whom we have taught knowledge from us <coughs> musa said to him al khidr may i follow you so that you teach me something of that knowledge which you have been taught khidr he al khidr said verily you will not be able to have patience with me and how can you have patience about a thing which you know not musa said if uh, allah wills you will find me patient and i will not disobey you in all al khidr said then if you follow me ask me not about anything till i men- myself mention of it to you 
so they both proceeded till when they embarked the ship he scuttled it musa said have you scuttled it in order to drown its people verily you have committed a thing imra a munkar evil bad dreadful thing <coughs> he al khidr said did i not tell you that you would not be able to have patience with me musa said call me not to account for what i forget and be not hard upon me for my affair then they both proceeded till they met a boy and he al khidr killed him musa said have you killed an innocent person who had killed none verily you have committed a thing nukra a great munkar prohibited evil dreadful thing <coughs> al khidr said did i not tell you that you have no patience with me musa said as if i ask you anything after this keep me not in your company you have received an excuse from me then they both proceeded <coughs> then they both proceeded till when they came to the people of a town they asked for them for food but they refused to entertain them and then they found therein a wall about to collapse and he al khidr set it up straight musa said if you had wish surely you could have taken wages for it al khidr said this is the parting between me and you i will tell you i will tell you the interpretation of those things over which you were unable to hold patience as for the ship it belonged to masakin working in the sea so i wished to make a defective damage in it as there was a king behind them who seized every ship by force and as for the boy his parents were believers and he and we feared lest he should oppress them by rebellion and disbelief so we intended that their lord should change him for them for one of one better in righteousness and nearer to mercy and as for the wall it belonged to two orphan boys in the town and there was under it a treasure belonging to them and their father was a righteous man and your lord intended that they should attain their age of full strength and take out their treasure as a mercy from your lord and i did not <coughs> and i did them not of my own accord that is the interpretation of those things over which you could not hold patience and they ask you about zulkarnain say i shall recite to you something of his story verily we established him in the earth and we gave him the means of everything so he followed away until when he reached the setting place of the sun he found it setting in a spring of black muddy hot water and he found near it a people we said o zulkarnain either you punish them or treat them with kindness he said <coughs> he said as for him who does wrong we shall punish him and then we will be brought back to his lord who will punish him with a terrible torment but as for him who believes in oneness in allah's oneness and works righteousness he shall have the best reward and we shall speak to him mild words then he followed another way until when he came to the rising place of the sun he found it rising on a people for whom we have provided no shelter against the sun so it was and we knew all about him then he followed another way until when he reached between the two mountains he found between them a people who scarcely understood a word they said o zulkarnain verily yajuj and majuj gog and magog are doing great mischief in the land shall we then pay you a tribute in order that you might erect a barrier between us and them he said then the wealth authority and power in which my lord had established me is better than your tribute so help me with strength i will erect between you and them a barrier give me pieces blocks of iron then when he had filled up the gap between the two mountain cliffs he said blow and then when he had made them red as fire he said bring me molten copper to pour over them so they yajuj and majuj 
Gog and Magog people could not scale it or dig through it. So Karnan said, This is a mercy from my Lord, but when the promise of my Lord comes, he shall level it down to the ground, and the promise of my Lord is ever true. And, the, and on that day, the day Ya'juj and Ma'juj, Gog and Magog, Gog and Magog will come out. We shall leave them to surge like waves on one another, and the trumpet will be blown, and we shall collect them all together. And on that day, we shall present hell to the disbelievers, plain to view, to those whose eyes had been under a covering from my reminder, and who could not bear to hear it. Do then they who disbelieved think that they can take my slaves, the angels, Allah's messengers, Isa, Jesus, son of Maryam, Mary, as awliya, lords, gods, protectors besides me. Verily, we have prepared hell as an entertainment for the disbelievers in the oneness of Allah, Islamic monotheism. Say, O Muhammad Sallallahu Shall we tell you the greatest losers in the respect of their deeds, those whose efforts have been wasted in this life while they thought that they were acquiring good deeds by their good by their deeds? They are those who deny the ayat of their Lord and the meeting with them with him. <coughs> so their works are in vain, and on the day of resurrection we shall assign no weight for them. That shall be their recompense hell because they disbelieved and took my ayat and my messengers by way of jest and mockery. Verily those who believe in the oneness of Allah, Islamic monotheism and do righteous deeds shall have the gardens of al firdaus a paradise for their entertainment wherein they shall dwell forever. No desire will they have for removal therefrom. Say, O Muhammad to mankind if the sea were ink for writing the words of my Lord, surely the sea would be exhausted before the words of my Lord would be finished, even if we brought another sea like it for its aid. Say, O Muhammad I am only a man like you. It has been revealed to me that your Lillah God is one, lil, one Ilah God. So uh, whoever is... Whoever hopes for the meeting with his Lord, let him work righteousness and associate none as a partner in the worship of his Lord. Sadaqallah <laughs> alayhi